The great thing is when I came to Rawhide, I just, right when I stepped foot on the grounds, I was like, this is really set up so well. I mean, it was a place where I felt very comfortable, and I knew it was a place that others would feel comfortable as well. And there's just a lot of really good structure set up here, and I think one of the things that I've learned through my past, and especially as a Christian, is if you don't have the changing power of Christ, it's very difficult to really make a difference in someone's life. And that's here, and it's not only shown in the buildings and the grounds, but it's shown in the people. And I was just talking to my house mom about that. I said, you know, I never worked a place where I've seen so many genuinely wonderful people, whether it's you walking into COT and everyone's smiling or friendly, or it's you walking into the cafe and having someone offer you leftovers every day because your cook's gone. Um, or going into school and, you know, seeing the teachers and interacting with them. It's just been a real, real blessing. And I think that's one of the other great things at Rawhide is you very rarely get a chance to grow in a job in such a supportive environment with Christians surrounding you. And that is invaluable. And actually that's one of the things I had prayed for in starting my career. And I didn't have that much hope for it because I wasn't seeing it very much in a lot of places. And the Lord really blessed me with this as an opportunity, as a place to start my ministry. Basically my job is, is to spend a lot of time with the guys um, and to just basically be kind of like a big brother, big sister in the house. Um, we spend time with them, not only like after school working at homework and you know taking them in the gym doing fun stuff, but also when they need someone to talk to or to work out you know issues that maybe they've been dealing with, they can come to us to you know get support and ask questions. Well, it's really hard to see the impact that families um, have on their kids. And it, I worked in social work in Milwaukee, but to actually see it firsthand, to be able to see how much it affects their lives, how it affects their lives in school, how it affects their attitudes. I mean, it's a huge, it's not that I didn't think the way that the family impacted the kid was huge, but just to see how much it really can go and really affect each aspect of their lives. Actually, I've seen a lot of success stories already, and the neat thing is um, a lot of kids I worked with in Milwaukee, you thought it was a success if they just maintained the levels they were at. And here I've not only seen more than maintenance, I've seen these guys really grow and change. And it's neat to see a kid come in and be like, wow, he's got so much, so many things that are working against him and then to see him grow and really change here. And I think there's just a couple of guys that I have in mind. I know there's more than that, but um, when it was a guy that actually was one of the reasons that I wanted to have the job in the first place. It's good to see he was such a leader and he really, he just had had so much going for him. And then when I actually saw what his story was and saw where he had come from and where he was when I entered the house, it was amazing. And even now he's doing better and better. And to see the hope and to see what can happen when someone's given an opportunity like this is really neat. One of the guys that have come here and um, he actually came from Milwaukee, so we kind of had a bond right away just with certain areas. We kind of knew and grew up in the same area. He had had some really big problems with gang involvement and was able to come here and when I read different files, read things about him, it was so funny because he was so hardened in them and he was such a different kid than the kid I knew and when I came here, he was a leader and he made it so easy for me to transition here because he was almost like having another staff in the house. He would be such a good support to the guys, he would be there for him, he was a positive role model and he's continued to do that now even more so. And you know, and it, it, just to be able to see that and see someone really go from such a troubled young man to someone who really just see how much potential they have is great. That's a neat thing I've seen here too is some guys that haven't got a chance to be kids. Really, the kid side comes out when they're out in the pond catching turtles or <laughs> over at the school playing basketball with each other. I would highly recommend this job to other people, but in saying that too, I would really take seriously the fact that it is a mission and it's a challenge. It's not just something that you go to a nice little camp and everybody's sweet and fun and you do crafts with them. I mean, it's it's a treatment program and it's really very serious as far as not only how you treat the guys, but you know the things that you're learning. These are this is a professional environment in a lot of ways, and you have a lot of fun, but there's also some differences between just working with kids in the community and being here in Treatment Over. This is a really hard job, I have to be honest. It's been the hardest job I've ever had, but it's because the Lord has challenged me so much. And a lot of stuff that I didn't even know I had to deal with, the Lord's brought out here and He's brought it out in a great way. 
and he's helped me to grow along with the guys. And that's the, I think the most challenging thing, but the best thing too is how much you can grow here. And I think that I will never ever regret taking this job. In fact, I think it's the best thing I've ever seen.